using JKD techniques in boxing. First we see the video that fight with a tall person. In this video, a taller opponent attempt to control the distance and use their reach advantage. Next we see the next video, I will using some JKD techniques in this fight. I using the following techniques in this video. 1. Keep moving when punching. The opponent allowing me to move around him, out of his fighting measure. Two using slip snap back duck and rear hand for parry. During fighting, there is a good deal of parrying. Especially with the rear hand. Another method of defense is avoiding the punch altogether through evasion.
3. Maintain constant offensive pressure, a sequence of fast jab allowing the opponent no extended breaks. Or attack by combination, a sequence of punches, lead high lead high lead hook or lead high lead high lead low. To create an opening. After I have studied more JKD books and videos. I should improve the following items. 1. According the Tao of Jeet Kune Do, each punch, you should move your head, maintain your stance and change position. 2. According the Tao of Jeet Kune Do, I should use more bob and weave when fight with tall man. You can bob and weave and counter with shovel hook. So Pacquiao with that burst of firepower. 3. I can use light lead high, light lead high, suddenly push off the left foot, throw the powerful straight lead. For using more rear cross when fighting someone whose stance doesn't match yours. I am not a JKD masters or JKD instructors. I like Bruce Lee, so I like JKD. I just want to show you the valuable tips from my own personal experience. Remember my friends if you want to see more about Bruce Lee JKD videos. Make sure you click on the subscribe button below.